Cotton Dolls, it is finally Friday, April 19th, and welcome to an all-new episode of Style by Stevie. Our very special guest today needs no introduction. This will be his fourth consecutive interview with me on my platform, and we're going to be dishing on all things spring fashion, just spring today on today's show. It's going to be fun-filled, so I'm super excited. I had to uninstall and reinstall back. Hi, Eugene. Hi, everyone. Make sure you guys go and vote for your favorite look of the week. It was five different looks for five different interviews. And I have been bringing the drama. Like today I have on a crop top and a mini skirt. So I wanted to do something different closing out the week today. A little tomboyish but feminine at the same time. So let me go ahead and send this live to Justin. So that we can pick up where we left off. And hopefully it works because... I don't know what happened. I could I could hear him, but I could not see him. So IG likes to try me sometime. But we are back, Fashion Dolls, and I'm also going to be showcasing another one of my Barbies from the collection. I told you guys that I started collecting Barbies in 2023, and these are my babies. They are so beautiful. I wake up every morning looking at them. So I'm going to be showcasing that at the end of our conversation with Justin. But in the meantime, I need you guys to... Go and subscribe to Style by Stevie Daytime if you have not. We are fixing to hit our 600th episode. This will be episode 599 today. So, without further ado, hopefully it works this time. I'm going to add Justin Fashion Dolls. Let's go. We are now I can see you. Welcome, TGIF. TGIF, thank God we have arrived. <laughs> and yes, my apologies for the tardiness. I Everything was uploading so slow to upload to the talk show page. I had to upload the look of the week because it's five different looks. So that was pretty slow loading. And then I had to uninstall and reinstall, but we're here. Thank God. We're here. That's all that matters. Yes. Now, You've been on the show previously. You, we've already did three for the record already. Yeah. This is our fourth one. So what has happened since our last conversation? Because we talked on a number of things. We're going to be touching on fashion because next month is the biggest fashion event ever in the world. And that is the Met Gala. Yeah. And I want to get your opinion on some looks that you are predicting and expecting to walk down the carpet this year. And of course, you're on the show on Signal 23, which we'll be getting into as well, too. So what has happened since our last conversation? Uh, so much. Uh, of course, like you said, um, on the on the show, the Signal 23 show, that's been amazing. And filming another movie and then a couple of episodes of one of my favorite shows. Like I've, I've been, like I said on the last show, I expect to see me on TV a lot more this year. You know, God has been faithful. So here we are. <laughs> all the time all the time and which pro what project are you looking forward to this year uh, well i was gonna i would say uh the the signal 23 show of course that's already exciting um as it is but definitely seeing myself on one of my favorite shows um i think that is what i'm really excited about because i've always said i wanted to be on the show not be uh uh you know, on the show, on the show, if you know what I mean. But like, be on the show as in one of the character people that's been, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so that is what I'm in the comments. Your friend Tony says, "Yes, friend, you be getting interviewed. I'm so proud of you." Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Tony is awesome. Now you've got Love so it. many projects coming up. It is going to be the Met Gala next month. Let's get right into it. But what are you looking forward to? Um, Zendaya and J Lo are two of the co chairmen for cho chairwomen for this year's Met Gala. And fans have already put this AI look of her together in like this tennis ball like gown because she's in the film The Challenger. Yeah. And she has been killing the red carpets each premiere. Like she did an homage to Venus and Serena Williams' 1998 Vogue shoot. And that broke the internet like wildfire. As soon as La Roche posted it, I had said, I have to post this. I yeah. have to post this because this is beautiful. She has been killing these looks effortlessly. So what can you predict 
will be the theme for this year's Met Gala and what looks or who you're looking forward to, to seeing on the card? You know, in the past, I have predicted a multitude of th things that have never happened. <laughs> so I want to say this, this year, for some reason, I just want sort of an homage to um, Michael Jackson. That is kind of what I would like to see everybody kind of give their sort of interpretation of one of many looks that he has presented over the years. Um, so that is what I would like to see happen. I don't, I don't know if we've actually done that. Um, so that's something, that'll be something different and it'll be something to see people who are fans and people who are not fans of Michael Jackson kind of bring to life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's, but that's what that's what I would like the thing to be. That's what I hope the theme is, and I think I hope that Beyonce is going to be there as well. Oh yeah, because she's been to the Met Gala, but it would have been like what 2012, mm -hmm. 2013 around that time, and we've seen a couple of her looks. So with this Cowboy Carter album, she's been doing a lot of press as well too, and killing the looks also. So shout outs to her stylist as well, Shy Not here on the gram, definitely. Go and check that out. She broke the mold for this whole cowgirl aesthetic. Yeah. Everyone is wearing their cowboy boots, cowboy hats, uh, everything. The whole aesthetic, the fringe, all of this is coming out now because of this project. So I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing that. And it's never been done. The previous Met Gala, the theme was Carl Lagerfeld. So everything had to be black and white because we know for Chanel, that's the simple yeah. black and white. It's classic. So for this year, I think it's going to be uh, something involving like a fairy tale. If that's what I heard. Mm. So chart it to my heart, y'all. But I know that J-Lo and Zendaya are the co-chair women for this year's Met Gala. So I would love to see an iconic painting theme. Ooh, like Van Gogh or Frida Kahlo. Those are amazing artists. I'd love to see that too. And then the previous year, that would have been perfect for the previous year too because the previous year was camp. So they had to come because Susan Sontag wrote an essay about camp and it had to be camp, you know, not costumey if that makes sense, but just for that one moment, mm -hmm. if you guys get it. So some people got it, some people didn't get it. With those Met Gala things, they're very hard. So I'm looking forward to Rihanna because she did an interview yesterday. She launched her Savage Fenty, um, new Savage Fenty collection. And I'm looking forward to it. She, so she kind of dropped hints. She said, I don't know what I'm going to wear. So I guarantee you she's probably going to be there because she shocked us at the previous Met Gala, which was the Carl Legafield yeah. theme, which was the black and the white. So I'm looking forward to seeing who's going to wear what. But you guys are genius. Y'all came out and created Zendaya's gown for her in the shape of a tennis ball because she has been. The film is the challenge. She's playing a tennis player. Yeah. So. It would make sense with the green and everything. Who knows what she's going to do because it's next month, May. The film will be dropping. I think it's already out, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So make sure you guys go and just stay tuned. Stay tuned because the themes for the Met Galas, they always change. So, yes. Yes. All right. Spring style trends. What are you looking forward to? We talked about Beyonce's cowboy aesthetic so what are you looking forward to we, we still have coachella going on a lot of people are starting to play with color what else trends are you looking forward to for the spring season honestly i want to see a lot of pastels that's what i that's what i'm really wanting to see a lot of pastels because i could easily say you know of flowers and light and bright stuff but i want pastels um because it, it's it's something that i think everybody can pull off in a certain way. Um, and there are certain colors that go well with everybody's skin, but not every pastel color will go with everything. So I'm really wanting to see that this spring. You know what I mean? That, that, that's what I am looking for. Yeah. And a lot of, pa believe it or not, pastels, for me, spring is like a new awakening. Mm -hmm. It's like starting over. It's like a new. The flowers are bloomed, whereas the winter, everything was closed. The flower buds were closed, and now everything is open and alive and yep. full of color. It's just like pound. So 
I've seen lots of color at Coachella. A lot of people were bringing it. I've seen a lot of slits. I've seen a lot of back out. I've, all of these things are starting to come out now that the weather is starting to get hotter. And the summer months are going to be even more crazy. It's going to turn up the heat even more because the colors are going to get even more bright. And yep. you're going to see all sorts of textures, and prints walk down out, especially with uh, this Met Gala that is coming up. So I can't wait to see it. Whereas Beyonce gave us something for the summer, the, the foil, the metallic, Renaissance, the whole entire theme was metallic silver. The yes. thing about Met Gala theme is that some people try to stand out so it doesn't fit the aesthetic of the theme right, and they miss the mark. Yeah. So you have to go and do your research on whatever the Met Gala theme is. Like one year's theme was Chinese through the looking glass, and Rihanna came in this beautiful Home des Garcons feast, and it was very floral. You guys know, and then the makeup was dramatic, and then the hair was in the top knot. That is one of my favorite looks on her. But she didn't like that look. She liked the look where she wore the yellow gown paint, which I think took at least two years to make. That gown was gorgeous. Yeah. And the way it just stood on the stairs as she stood there while the photographer was taking her pictures. And she also, like what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing a crop top, y'all, yes. So she wore a crop top from Stella McCartney and the skirt, and then she talked about her after Met Gala party look which was also Bella McCartney too. So I can't wait to see what she's going to do. She's always pushing the envelope and changing it up. Definitely. <clears throat> Definitely, for sure. You know, I also, no lie, I know Beyonce's kind of already doing it, but I want to see a lot more denim as well. Oh, yeah. Like denim on denim like they did back in the early 2000s. That's what I really want to see as well. Because I, I know we... we we, we kind of moved on from denim on denim on denim, but I kind of want to bring that on back to the forefront, and I want to see some people do some denim, um, especially because it's hot now. You can you can style it in different ways. I just yeah. that's something I really want to see too. That with this whole cowboy aesthetic, there I have a you guys remember the denim dress I wore that was off the shoulder, and I had the black hair at the time. So definitely, this is the year to play up with lots of color lots of different prints lots of different patterns and denim is one of them my mom told me that she said i'd love to see you in a pair of jeans on your own um, when you're doing your show i said it's too hot i i, <laughs> I like to show skin i like to show leg i like to show back i like to show stomach i like to show all of these things because it is so hot when it's this type of weather for me the less for me the less clothes is more i, I love <laughs> slits i love back out i love cold shoulder all of these things um, people be trying to stand out looking like this to Bobby Brown and Bobby Jones fabulosity. I'm screaming. <laughs> because it's true. It's true. They try. But I think the I think what's so great about fashion is that you try and experiment with different things. You miss some, you hit some, you know, but at least you tried. And I think that's what's very important um to people, um, whether they're celebrities or not. Um, is to try new things. And if you fail, you fail. You know, there's always next time. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just great to be able to experiment fashionably. Um, yeah, step outside that comfort zone, whatever that may be for you. Absolutely. Because a lot of people are just stuck in one box, and fashion is so many different looks. And I said this yesterday to my guest that I had on, Tony. Austin, I said, fashion trends always change. They're, they're not staying the same. So you got to be up and alert. He asked me, what is one of my favorite things I like to do outside of the show? I like to flip through fashion magazines. Mm -hmm. And if not flipping through fashion magazines, scrolling. We're now in a day and age where scrolling and you can see everything out there right there as the designers drop the looks. Like Wallone Fashion Groups makes some of the most gorgeous gowns. Yes. Breathtaking. Mm -hmm. And that is one of my favorite companies. And it's another one as well too of course valentino valentino but peter paolo is no longer with valentino anymore i seen the news and i just couldn't believe it because he did so many beautiful collections the chinese i think it was the chinese masquerade or midsummer night's dream midsummer night's dream that collection from valentino is gorgeous and if you guys have not seen it one of the models walked out with like this and i guarantee you i think i know pat mcgrath pat mcgrath did the makeup had to 
she had to do the makeup because Pat McGrath did for the Margiela show the porcelain doll like face. And now everybody from Cardi B is starting to take on to that beauty trend yeah. where it's like they have the porcelain glass doll face. And it is so beautiful. But for this show, for Midnight Summer Summer Dreams fashion show for Valentino, one of the models walked out and it was just like body covered in glitter. And she wore one of, oh, so beautiful, silver. But lots of color. It's very explosive. You're going to be like, wow. Yeah, nothing you would wear out every day like what I'm wearing today. But if you're going to the Met, definitely. All right. So we touched on spring fashion trends, fashion dogs. We're going to have some fun today with Justin. It's Friday and it's been a busy week. So we are going to do our spring edition of Spring Icebreakers, this or that edition. All right. And you guys chime in in the audience as well, too. So. I'm going to give Justin here two choices, and he has to tell me which one he prefer. And you guys in the audience sound off too, all right? Daffodils or tulips? Mm, tulips. Definitely okay. tulips. It's the spring summer months. Picnic or barbecue? A barbecue all day. All day. Here, barbecue right? all day. Listen, let me tell you something. Get my daddy on a grill, get my auntie and my uncle on the grill. It's on and popping. I'm just saying so. Definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm choosing the barbecue. Yes. This will tie into it too. Lemonade or iced tea? Lemonade. All day. All to Beyonce. We love that. Lilies or irises? They're both beautiful. Mm. I have to go with lilies. They, 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 for me, they give so much of a softer approach and i and i love that butterflies or ladybugs you know what I, i'm gonna go with ladybugs only because this past weekend three of them actually landed on me three red ones landed on me so i'm gonna go with ladybugs on that one sure will and they're saying they bring good luck let me read Island Yankees' comments before we continue on. People like to try new things, but the garments doesn't stand because their cadence scream, I'm not familiar with this look. Right. So yeah. if you're going with that, brings me to the next question. We're talking fashion again. Floral print or polka dots? Florals. Florals. Because polka dots, for me, it just, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Like, if it's, you could, certain people, it's, it's a certain way you can do polka dots. And it depends on what you're wearing. Um, so I'm going to go with florals on that one because it just seems more elegant for me. Yes. And we've seen a lot of designers, Prabhu Garung, Carolina Herrera, Valentino, incorporate florals into their gowns. And it's beautiful. All right. Sunshine or shower? Showers. Showers. Love shower. I, I, because the sun is beautiful, yes, but the showers for me, it just something does it for me. You know, rain is just beautiful. It washes away the old to bring in the new. That's what it reminds me of. Speaking of lemonade, I wonder if Diddy is with Becky with the good hair. I don't know. I, I don't know. And I touched on this last week. So if you guys missed it, go and check it out. I touched on it last week. Um, nature scavenger hunt or bike ride? Oh, mm. you know, I'm gonna go with the scavenger hunt, the nature scavenger hunt, because I love nature, I really do, and I love exploring new places and uh, going into new territory. Bike riding is fun, but it's tiring. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna go with the nature one. All right, fashion dolls, here's some more icebreakers. Would you rather attend? Okay, not that one. Let me see. Let me find a good one. Let me shake it up and find a good one. What is your favorite spring activity? When I'm not dying because of my allergies, um, <laughs> I love, I love, love, love to go hiking. Go hiking, go running, or swimming. Those three. Love it. Your favorite outdoor activities, but you covered that hiking. What is your favorite spring break memory? 
Hmm. You know, see, I was I was a sheltered child, teenager, uh, into my uh, earlier half of adulthood. So I don't really have that many. <laughs> but one thing I can say is I believe it was my senior year of high school. Uh, my family and I, we went to uh, Disney World. So that was the best for me because it was it was I think it was it was a situation where it said that they were going to be out of school at this time. But then the schools kind of changed their mind and said, oh, we're going to do it at another time. But I still went out of town while everybody was still in school. So that was the best thing for me. I loved it. Loved it. Now, here's, I don't know everybody either hates or love this one right here. Spring cleaning. Do you like spring cleaning? Why or why not? I, I, <laughs> I used to hate it because my parents have this big glorious house and they would have me do all the work. Um, so I hated it. But being in my own space, I love it because it's small. I know where everything is at. I can get everything done in a timely manner. And then I can sit on my couch and relax. I love it. So I love it now, yeah. All right, Fashion Dolls, we're gonna do one more. Your favorite spring holiday. <laughs> <laughs> oh well it's the one that's coming up this saturday we love that um we 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 love a we love a good saturday 420 activity day we really do boom there we have it fashion dolls spring edition of this or that it is officially spring i'm super excited to see the fashion trends that are going to be coming out and who's going to be wearing what to next month's met gala is the first monday in may so I'm excited. I can't wait. So if you guys have any other predictions, type them in the comments. Feel free to type them in the comments after I say the end of um, the interview. I know damn well he's trying to one up with me with the skin tone. What is your secret? I'm pretty sure people have questions. What are some of your skincare secrets? I really, honestly, I don't have any. I just, I drink a lot of water. That's from one because it's hot outside. Um, yeah. That's that's already a given. But I, I just love drinking water, you know. So drinking water, I wash my face. I put on the the witch hazel thing. Then I put on some face lotion, and I just go on about my business. You know, drink my water, mind my business. That's what Beyonce said. So that's what I do. <laughs> and I laugh. That's the thing about it. I'm gonna tell you, I I laugh. I really don't be worrying about stuff for real, you know. And like, I I love life, you know. So yeah, that's that's. I guess those are some secrets. And also protect the melanin, ladies and gentlemen. We got to use SPF before we go out. Yeah. We got to make sure that we have our sunscreen as well. I know a lot of y'all are going to be hitting up the beach, going to a lot of festivals and stuff, but make sure that you protect your melanin from those UV rays. I'm telling you, the other people do it. The palm colored people do it. So we got to do it too. All right. So. Do we have any questions for myself or Justin, ladies and gentlemen? Because this has been, it's, it's been a hectic week for all of us, a busy week for all of us. So what else are you looking forward to? You've got your projects that are going to be coming out. You're going to be in television. You're going to be in, you're going to be doing a lot. So what else can we expect from you this year? Honestly, I... I don't know. I don't know because I've, I myself have been shocked about what's been happening so far. God has been so good to me. So I don't even know, but I'm just, I'll, I'll just say my wants, my wants are to be on major television networks, on movie theater, in actual movie theaters nationwide, you know what I mean? And just, I, I, I'm going to just say this, I'm going to put this out there like I did last time. Viola Davis, listen, if you need to, you know, need a, somebody to play your son or your nephew, here I am. I am right here. Okay, my name is Justin. Hi, we look alike. I'm right here. Come on. Come on down. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm expecting to be on, on bigger and better platforms, for sure, with a television show, with shows and movies, for sure. And I'm manifesting it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So sending that in the universe, I can for you, my love. So 
fashion dolls do we have? Let me check the question box right here. Nope, I don't see anything. We don't have any questions. So before we conclude this interview, Justin, any words of encouragement to send people into the beautiful springtime? Because this is going to be a lively year for all of us. There's going to be so many award shows. They've already announced who's been nominated for an Emmy. The Emmys will be here before you know it. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot. So you guys brace yourselves. There's going to be a lot of content coming out. So what are you looking forward to and what advice would you give to people on embracing the beautiful new weather in spring? Yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to, um, and, and I say this a lot, a lot of new, daring fashion looks because we do have a lot that do look the same. And there are some that try to go in the daring section, but it's, it's a little too far to the left. So we're going to kind of want to bring it back. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely just looking forward to new, fresh opportunity, um, new, fresh options, fashion-wise, for sure, um, during the spring season. Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> um, so listen, um, yes, so <laughs> my encouragement to, to people in this new season, this spring season, this beautiful weather that we have outside, um, I, I, and I say this to myself and I've learned this, uh, learned this recently, um, have, have fun and learn, learn to love your life. Because we do, there are a lot of things that do happen in our personal life, in the world. You know, there are a lot of bad things that are transpiring and happening, but don't let it stop you from having a good time with your life and enjoying your life. I think that's so important that a lot of people think about and dwell on their problems more than they do the good things that are happening in life. You, you got breath, in your body, you got food on the table, roof over your head. You know, I, I honestly look at the little blessings in life and that really keeps me happy. And I, you know, get around people and that makes me even happier. So go out, enjoy your life, regardless of what's going on. Find something in a day to enjoy and do it. And you have it, Fashion Dolls. And today's final thought ties into what Justin just said also. And it comes from Les Brown. He says, don't let someone else's opinion of you become your reality. Don't let anybody else tell your story but you. You are in charge of your own story and your destination. You are the author. You are the editor. You are the publisher of putting that story out to the world. So remember that, Fashion Dogs. And as we go into the weekend, I promise to you guys, as promised, I said I was going to show off some of my Barbies in my collection. A lot of people don't fear death, but they fear living. Exactly. And it is a time to feel alive. It is the yes. best time to feel alive. It's springtime. And again, I said the buds were closed. Now the buds are opening. The flowers are blooming. The birds are chirping. Uh, everything is alive. You see color. Whereas everything in the wintertime is dull and, and shut down. Now everything is open and full bloom. So it's great. And that also enhances your mood too. Color enhances people's moods. So when we see yellow, we see all of these colors. It's been studies out here proving that colors help mentally as well mm -hmm. too. So when you are in fashion, have fun with it. Be bold and take chances. And I promise you guys, as promised, because people are like, can you bring some of the Barbies on the show? Yes, 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 I can. I started collecting in 2023. This is one of my favorites. This is from the Classique Collection. And a Black woman designed this Barbie, Kitty Black Perkins. And she's still alive and living. This is a limited edition Barbie. And it is the even extravaganza Barbie. All right? So when we say, I like drama, I love drama. And she represents drama. So. Uh, that is her fashion dolls. So I have a few more. I have a few more. So yes, you guys stay tuned. I'll be showcasing them throughout the week. How about someone said, I love you more to me. I remember you telling me that earlier and that was funny. So I know, um, I don't know if you want me to say it or not, <laughs> but he texted me the, um, earlier this morning about that. And he told me that, but 
he wasn't, I, I don't know if he want me to say it or not. But other than that, fashion dolls, I want you guys to have an amazing, fabulous weekend. Next week, we have Stephen Boyce joining me. So we are on the road to 600. Today would be interview 599. Yesterday was 598. So thank you all so much for your love and unconditional support. He was high this morning. For those of you who are wondering, he was high and he texted me that message said, child, I'm high. And I just busted out laughing. <laughs> so please, you guys, be safe. And just the wicked, everyone, follow you. Definitely here on Instagram for sure. That's where I spend most of my time. <laughs> Definitely here on Instagram, the Justin Goodwin. Um, find me on Facebook at Justin M. Goodwin as well. Um, Twitter, I don't even on my twitter handle but i'm on twitter as well so follow me there if you find me you find me that's great <laughs> i'm everywhere <laughs> all right fashion dolls tgif happy friday and i want you guys to be safe this weekend have fun enjoy life as justin said live in color as my fraternal um just said in the comments be alive this is a great time to be alive and to be here everything is open so this interview will be going up on my YouTube channel, Style by Stevie Daytime. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when new interviews are posted. Next week, our 600th episode, y'all. We did it. We've been on the grind back to back to back to back to back. So thank y'all so, so, so much. 600 interviews under my belt. Can y'all believe that? And that's because I've been consistent and you guys have motivated me to just keep going. So thank you all so much for your love and your support. So I will see you guys next week with all new episodes of Style by Stevie. Stephen Voice joins me next week, and I will see you then. Take care, everyone.